Our $99 mine server is the world's first home Minecraft server that you can buy. It's cheaper than a rental server. It's faster than a rental or public server. It doesn't require a PC. It only costs about a dollar per year to run. No IP address is required ever. Play with your friends, no public server purrs. A parental admin phone app controls the server. Boots straight into Minecraft with web-based admin and mods. Play Minecraft with friends all over the world. Unlimited TNT. It's a version of a Minecraft server, except for instead of having it based on your computer, you have a physical copy on a microcomputer. The servers are easy for anybody to use. All you have to do is power it on and play. It automatically boots up the Minecraft server, and all you have to do is access it like you would any other server on your computer. Once you log into the server, you can play with your friends, your family, anybody. This is our mind server. As you can see, it's small, it is lightweight, has a little Linux computer, three USB ports, and uh, an ethernet port or Wi-Fi. You connect the power cable into here and plug it into your wall socket, and then you plug your ethernet or Wi-Fi cable into here and you plug it into your ethernet or Wi-Fi. There is vanilla Minecraft, which you can maintain over the internet. And you can add mods, plugins, maps. You go into your Minecraft multiplayer settings. You don't need to add the IP. It's already on there. And bam, you got your server up and running. No, this is so small, you, uh, it's possible to lose it. But uh, it's probably going to be a plugin, so you probably won't have to worry about that. And plus, you'll probably even know, even know if you lose it, you'll probably find it if you might, if you, if you lose it. But that's a very rare chance. There has to be some administration, and we have two administration, administrative uh, interfaces. They're both web servers. One is a more complex web server for putting in mods and things like that. And the other is what we were calling the okay. parental admin app which is really a phone app that monitors the server, allows the parent to see what's going on, can shut it down or turn it on or reboot it, and can also kick off players if they misbehave. The children and the parents have access of who they can invite in, and you have to be invited in, and no one can just come in. Also, as a parent, you have control. Let's say your child hasn't finished their homework, you can temporarily block your own child, or. or or you know, somebody has done something naughty, you can block them. You can manage every single part of the server. You can manage people who join, you can manage the mods it's on, the world, everything. And you can make it whitelisted so you can keep the perps out. Our Minecraft servers that we sell cost only $99 forever. With the single time cost of $99, you're not paying a monthly, weekly, or yearly rate to rent a server. Like, um, we know a few friends uh, that uh, used to rent a server and they bought theirs for $50 a month. And so that means in two months, it's already over $1 over this server. And this is forever. You pay $99 one time and one time only. Mine server is better than other Minecraft servers because it's small, it's plug and play, it's portable, it's fast, it doesn't require a PC. You can maintain it over the internet and it's cheap, less than a hundred bucks. There's an advantage to playing on a smaller server instead of a giant server. You'll have a faster game, you'll have more memory per player. It's much faster to have a local server than a huge 20,000 person server. It allows you to have your own Minecraft server for cheap and uh, uh, forever, for cheap forever, and yeah. If I was an employee, I would pick definitely uh, the $99 one, since this is forever. Like, you can have it on until you die. Literally. If someone thinks they're just gonna go out and copy this, it's not going to work. It's all custom because that's what we had to do. And the boys did it, and we brought in uh, our friends who are, you know, heavy-duty programmers in various industries, and uh, this thing really works. Uh, we're the pe we are the people with the diamond swords, and the other people are the people with the wind swords. Which one do you pick? Well, you know, we tried this like a year ago, 
And the boys are really the ones who brought it back a year later. You know, it was something that... Greed. <laughs> greed. Fallon, you know, the youngest, was not going to let go of it. Yeah. And so through their persistence is how it has come back to life. I hope they pay us. Maybe. MindServer LLC was a company that I started with my two brothers and my father. Working with my dad and brothers has been interesting. It's definitely a new experience that I haven't had before. I get the experience of working with people before I have to work with people. As a mom of three boys, they are either playing, well, I'd say about 50-50, they're playing with one another, love one another, having a good time, or they are trying to kill one another. And this has been something to unite them and, and give them, you know, we, at the dinner table, they're talking about their ideas, what they want to see. They're talking about the future possibilities. Or it, it, It's really kind of refreshingly nice to see them getting along, getting along so well. I am in charge of MindServer. I am in charge of MindServer LLC. I am in charge of MindServer LLC. We would really like some donations from our kicks for our Kickstarter campaign because we need uh, more money to make the servers and make the business successful.